Okay, on with this uh, project. First thing I'm going to say is um, just copy the videos and um, review them as we're going and this will give you a step-by-step uh, -step set of instructions to build such a device. Um, the cell would not have to be exactly the same as this one. This one you can see is in pieces at the moment. I have to clean up the plates. Some of them have this nice yucky black stuff on there that um, was due to the electrolyte in the water and the cell being sitting for a long time not being used. One side is okay. We do not want to clean that very light brown um, stuff off of the cell. We want to get rid of this black stuff which is on a lot of the plates. So uh, that's not going to help. Um, a careful wash and we should be right. So uh, some dimensions first. This cell was actually made by Daryl who sent it over to me free of charge um, as you may have heard before and um, still much appreciated for his generosity. So our stainless plates uh, 1.5 mil by the look of it and our gaskets that uh, go be plate between the plates as we can see here 1.1 mil so uh, pretty close to 1 mil this is a uh, harder type plastic rubber and not soft rubber. Soft rubber will crush when you do the bolts up to clamp it all together and then you'll not know what gap you've got between your plates. So this would seem to have about a one mil gap once we tighten it all up and um, that is how this cell was designed and that is how it seems to work best. You'll also notice around all the holes um, drilled in the plates to reduce the current leakage. Um, I've used weld on 3 or weld on 16 and um, let it dry and re-drilled the holes to the desired size. Now these are the holes for the water to flow through of course that's on the bottom of the cell and the holes will alternate so uh, the water will flow through one hole, hit the other plate, and you can see it's also put on this weld on 16 around the area where the uh, current is going to be hitting the plate, flowing through the first hole. So, as once again, we reduce the current leakage through the hole and disperse it across the plate more evenly, and then the water comes fills the plate up and then goes into the next section through the hole on the opposite side. So the holes are staggered throughout the cell to reduce current leakage. Uh, same goes for the hole at the top. This one is elongated, has the weld on 16 around it to uh, reduce the current leakage and uh, that of course is at the top of the cell which allows our gas to escape. Uh, the two end plates just nice thick uh, plexiglass. All of the bolts that go through the uh, cell to clamp it together have a uh, rubber tube on them so it does not ground out on the cell. And of course, just the nuts and bolts. Now, this cell here is what I call a split cell, whereas each end plate will have a pickup point for our current and so does the middle plate and um, we'll see why that is done a little later on um, what it can also do is give us two options we can simply have um, 13 plates, this is a 15 plate cell we can have 13 plates as our neutral plates for a very high voltage or we can split that cell into two where is uh, say maybe our um, ground is attached to the center plate 
and our positive to the two end plates and uh, that will give us six neutral plates in between each cell uh, that would be good for a lower voltage higher current in this setup we're going to be using a very high voltage low current and um, no electrolyte in the water we just straight tap water other than um, the things you find in your tap water like chlorine a little bit of chlorine which is not going to bother us too much uh, we may even have to switch to a distilled water yet I'm not sure we'll have a look see how we go I've only uh, used tap water so far the results have been very good um, hence the title so I have a small group of people um, replicating this as we go and uh, they're doing so to verify the claims being made here which is um, the production of uh, HHO above the Faraday limit and uh, we're talking a fair whack above the Faraday limit around 230% so um, so as we start from the beginning, I pulled the cell apart, I'm going to clean it. Um, I need to find a ruler here somewhere. Um, which of course I don't have on hand, so I'll just pull the one out of the square. We can use that. And give you some dimensions of the plates. So the total dimension Uh, 185 millimeters. I'm guessing it will be square. No, not not quite. 175 by 185. But the active surface area once the gaskets go in is 140 by 140. And like I said, this is a 15 plate cell. Um, the gaskets we already know and uh, pretty simple to cut out once you have the right material and the right size uh, hole punch and uh, that is pretty much it <coughs> for now I've just got to go ahead clean all the plates we'll put the cell back together have a look at it in um, its completed stage and you can see how it's plumbed up and um, how it actually works so uh, we'll come back and do that when all the plates are cleaned up and uh, the cell is back together